Hi, I'm Alexis Winslow from KnitDarling.com, and today I'm going to demonstrate the steps for finishing a tubular Mobius cowl, like my Strutzy design, which I've linked down in the description. Uh, in this video, I'll cover blocking, twisting to make a Mobius shape, and finally grafting using the Kitchener stitch to make a seamless tube. Blocking. Since this design features color work, it's very important not to skip this step. I've already woven in the ends that we aren't going to use on both ends, and transferred the live stitches to a piece of waste yarn. Next, I soak the cowl in some soapy water for about 20 minutes. Then I squeeze out all the water in a towel and lay the piece on a drying mat. I make sure to put the crease at the beginning of the rounds, which will disguise the jog in the pattern. Once the piece is completely dry, I transfer all the stitches from the waste yarn back onto my needles, keeping the same beginning of rounds point as before. Now, I'll also transfer all the stitches from the provisional cast on onto another set of circular needles. The needles don't need to be the same size, and in fact, I prefer to use a smaller gauge needle as it makes the Kitchener stitch a little easier to perform. This pattern is a Mobius cowl, so I need to create a twist. The way I do this is to slip half the stitches back onto the right needle so that now my needles are directly opposite from the point on the other end of the cowl. Now I fold the cowl so that the ends meet, then twist the lower end so that the needles are aligned like this. Now I'm almost ready to start grafting, just a couple more steps. First I'll thread my needle with a yarn tail that is at least four times longer than the circumference of the cowl. Now this part can be confusing for some folks, so pay attention. I'll be joining the last stitch of the round from the top needle here with the first stitch of the round from the bottom needle here. You will ignore the needles on the lower layer, and in fact, I like to just tuck the ends of those needles into my work so they don't get in my way. Since I'm doing this in the round, I don't need to start with the usual setup. So first, I'll start on the front needle insert the yarn needle into the first stitch knitwise and pull the stitch off the needle. Then insert the needle into the next stitch purlwise and pull the yarn through. Next insert the needle into the first stitch on the back needle purlwise and pull that stitch off the needle. Then insert the needle on into the second stitch knitwise and pull the yarn through. Repeat those steps to graft all the way across, being careful to adjust your tension as you go. Since this pattern uses a contrasting color of yarn for the graft, it's very easy to see if your tension needs adjustment. Continue performing the Kitchener stitch until one stitch remains on the front needle and one on the back needle. Now knit off the front stitch and finally purl off the back stitch. Adjust the yarn to make sure the last stitch looks like all the others and everything is pretty. Now you'll use this last end to close up the gap at the join, and then weave the end into the work using the duplicate stitch. And there you have it, a beautifully seamless join. I hope you'll pick up a copy of my Strozzi Mobius cowl pattern, which I've linked down in the description below, and give these techniques a try. Um, if you liked this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and you'll be notified when new tutorials become available. Also, check out my webpage, knitdarling.com, to see my latest patterns and books. Thanks so much for watching.